our topic for today is chemistry and behavior of fire. So remember, effective fire control and extinguishment requires basic understanding of the chemical and physical nature of fire. This includes information describing sources of heat, energy, composition, and characteristics of files and environmental conditions necessary to sustain the combustion process. So, ano ba yung sinasabi ko? No. So, usually, we need to understand the characteristic of file. No. Kung ano yung content ng file. And, paano yung combustion process na tinatawag natin. Okay? So, first, tanungin natin, ano ba yung pinag-uusapan nating fire? Okay? So, fire is also known as combustion. No? It is the rapid oxidize, oxidation of high temperatures. This release hot gases, light, and invisible forms of radiation or energy. No. Oxidation is a common process or rust is formed on iron to the interaction with oxy oxygen in the air and we metabolize our food to oxidation na tinatawag natin. The difference between fire and other oxidation process is speed. Fire is the process of very rapid oxidation which releases greater amount of heat and other forms of energy in at a given time. So, pag sinabi nating fire, it is a chemical reaction of heated materials. So, with the presence of oxygen and light which is seen as flame. Okay? So that is fire. Now, let's go now to the so-called fire triangle. So ito, yung pinaka-basic natin in understanding fire. So the triangle illustrates the rule that in order to ignite and burn a fire requires three element. So, ito yung nakikita nating element. Meron tayong tinatawag na heat, meron tayong tinatawag na fuel, and meron tayong tinatawag na oxidizing agent. So, yung oxidizing agent na tinatawag natin, ito yung uh, tinaturn natin, usually it is term as oxygen. Okay? So, the fire is prevented or extinguished by removing any one of them. So, according sa mga nabasa ko, pagtatanggalin daw natin yung isang element ng fire, mawawala yung sunog. No. So, a fire naturally occurs when the elements are combined in the right mixture. Okay? Example, more heat is needed for igniting some fuels, okay? Unless they are or there is a concentrated oxygen. Without fuel, a fire will stop. No. Fuel can be removed. So, my oxygen, my heat. Ngayon, walang fuel. Wala siyang i-consume. So, hindi magkakaroon ng apoy or mamamatay yung apoy or apoy or fire na tinatawag natin. Okay? As where the fire has consumed all the burnable fuel or manually by mechanical or chemically removing the fuel by the use of fire extinguisher. Without sufficient heat naman, so, meron tayong fuel, meron tayong oxygen, pero, 
wala tayong sufficient heat na tinatawag natin. So, the fire will not continue. Okay? So, paano ba natatanggal yung heat? Doon, nag administer tayo na, for example, water. So, yung water, nire-reduce niya yung heat. So, ngayon, pag na-reduce yung heat, pwede mamatay yung apoy. Okay? So, water will actually increase or spread some other types of fire. For example, lang nasusunog is gasolina. Langis yung mga yon. So, pag binuhusan mo ng tubig, automatically, kakalat yung apoy. So, na, napaka-importante na dapat ma-identify natin yung klase ng fires natin. Okay? So, pag, pag wala tayong common na fire extinguisher, is, nasusunog is uh, gasolina, we can use yung soil or lupa no para may matanggal yung apoy okay so separating your uh, burning fuels from each other can also be an effective way to reduce the heat ayon so kailangan nating separate no para mabawasan yung pag-aapoy niya in forest fire burning logs are separated and placed into safe areas where there is no other fuel so Tulad ng mga sunog sa buntok, especially summer, no. Kung may nasusunog, kailangan sunugin yung isang parte para makagawa tayo ng areas na wala nang iko-consume na fuel. Okay? Scrapping embers from a burning structure also removes the heat. So kung minsan tinatanggal nila yung mga uh, baga na tinatawag natin. Okay? And at the same time, turning of Uh, electricity no sa electricity naman usually ginaga uh, yung term doon is na, nangyayari yon sa mga electrical fires okay so now punta tayo sa oxygen okay so paano tatanggalin yung oxygen no so oxygen may be removed from a fire by smothering it with aqueous foam or some inert gas or by the use of fire extinguisher or any chemicals enclosing it where the fire will quickly use up all the available oxygen. So, oxygen is very important. So, in removing oxygen, no, pwede we can use blanket. So, pag nablakitan natin yung isang apoy wherein wala nang makukonsume na oxygen, kusa siyang mamamatay. So, ganun ka-importante yung tinatawag nating fire triangle. If we will remove one element, automatically, the fire will be extinguished. Okay? Now, meron tayong tinatawag na uh, fire tetrahydron. Okay? Fire requires four elements in order to start and continue to burn. So, these elements or these basic elements of fire are called the fire tetrahydron. Okay? And include heat, fuel, and oxygen. Tulad ng uh, fire triangle natin. Pero, mayroon tayong tinatawag na port element. Okay? Yung port element natin na tinatawag natin na chemical reaction or it's a self-sustaining chemical reaction or combustion. Okay? That to just continued heat that serves to keep the fire burning. So, yun yung tinatawag natin chain reaction. To help illustrate these four elements, must occur together in order for fire to exist. The four-sided pyramidal shape na tetrahydron na tinatawag natin para best na ma-describe natin to. Okay? Remove any one of these elements from the fire tetrahydron and the fire will not start. Okay? If already burning, 
will be extinguish the fuel. Okay? To start and maintain a fire, you need the right kind of fuel. While burning, the energy stored in fuel combustion or combust and release heat, light, and other forms of radiation energy. So, removing the fuel breaks the fire tetrahydrone. Okay? Model N, the fire will stop burning. So, if we will remove fuel, automatically, the fire will stop. Okay? If we will remove the heat, the fire will stop. And, if we will remove oxygen, the fire will stop. Okay? Kaya lang, uh, the ox uh, otherwise, the fire will go out due to its removal from the fire tetrahydron. Okay? So, ngayon, ang problema, nagtanggal ka ng isa. Okay? Tapos, mayroon palang ulit makukonsume na fuel because of heat and oxygen, babalik pa rin siya sa pag-apoy. So, napaka-importante, pag sinabi natin remove, okay, dapat wala nang makukonsume na ibang fuel, ibang heat, ibang oxygen para ma-extinguish yung apoy. Ang importante dito is naiintindihan natin okay, kung ano yung relationship ni fuel, heat, oxygen, at yung chain reaction na tinatawag natin. Okay. So, what are the classes of fire? So, meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng fire. Okay? So, meron tayong A, B, C, D, and K. So, ano ba si A, B, C, D, and K? Pag sinabi natin A, these are the ordinary combustible material such as wood, paper, cloth, and etc. Okay? Or sinasabi nilang end of thinking capacity kasi wala na siyang maisip. Okay? Meron din tayo yung B. Okay? Flammable liquids. So, such as grease, oil, paint, solvent, and yung gasoline na tinatawag natin. Okay? Letter C, fire caused by live electrical equipment. Okay? Electrical panel, motor, wiring. Okay? Yung mga yan. No, as long as there is the intervention of electricity, it will fall under letter C. Okay? D, combustible or combustible metal such as uh, such as magnesium, aluminium and others. Yung K naman natin, ito yung commercial cooking equipment such as cooking oils, animal fats and vegetable oils and other oil. Okay? So that will fall under K, no, commercial cooking equipment. Usually uh ito yung common cost ng fire natin doon sa bahay. Kung minsan, napapabayaan natin, di natin nalilinisan yung uh, tinatamaan ng mga oil. No. Yung mga yun, pag natamaan ng apoy, pwedeng umakyat agad yung sa mismong wall. So, tatakbo doon yung apoy. So, paakyat. Usually, uh, kailangan nating linisan yung mga uh, areas kung saan tayo nagluluto. So, dapat walang naiiwan na mga cooking oils or residues na tinatawag natin hanggang magkulay black na yon kasi napapabayaan. Then, pag naapoyan yon so, diretso yung pag-aapoy niya. Okay? So, ano ba yung byproducts ng fire natin? So, meron tayong tinatawag na flame. Okay? It is generally a visible uh, sign of fire. Ito yung uh, malalaman na, na natin na may apoy kasi meron ng uh, glowing compound no? or glowing gaseous part of the fire na tinatawag natin. Ito naman, smoke. No? Pag may usok, may apoy. Yun yung kasabihan natin. Pag may usok, may 
apoy. So, eto, eto din yung isang isang sign na sinasabi natin, oy, may sunog. Kasi, may usok. No? So, usually, combustion gives off particles of carbon that appear as a smoke. Yun yung tinatawag natin uh, particles of carbon. Yun yung usok. No? Heat. Ito yung uh, nararamdaman natin sa form of energy that causes a body to rise in temperature. Usually, ang combustion natin, combustion reaction, ang tawag natin doon ay exothermic. Meaning, they give up heat which the passes to uh, which passes to cooler regions. Okay? So, ganun tumatakbo si heat natin, exothermic. Okay? So, eto yung mga dangerous gases natin na nanggagaling doon sa fire na tinatawag natin. First, carbon monoxide. Second, nitrogen oxide. Third, carbon dioxide. Okay? So, yung carbon monoxide na tinatawag natin, so, makes you disoriented and stops you from thinking and breathing. Okay? That is a carbon uh, monoxide, no? Nakakatakot, no? So, madidisorient ka, and yung pag-iisip mo, hindi na, hindi, hindi mo na maisip na huminga, no? Nakakalimutan mo, titigil yung pag-iisip, and titigil yung paghinga mo. Makes you breathe faster, which put you to rest the option of holding your breath, Mix with moisture in the eyes, nose, throat, throat, which causes coughing and hacking. Then turns into nitrate acid, with which starts to burn the tissue. Okay? So, that are the dangerous gases from fire. Remember, if you will go on a fire. So, for example, pupunta ka sa nasusunog na bahay, mag-isip ka muna. No. If ang reason mo is isalba mo yung mga gamit mo. Ang gamit, napapalitan, pero yung buhay, hindi. Okay? So, that ends my presentation. Thank you for watching.